Welcome back to In Focus. Now next, a story from the African diaspora. Tommy T is an Ethiopian musician, best known as a member of the gypsy, uh, the gypsy punk band Gogo Bodelo. He's taken a break from touring to record a solo album that blends Ethiopian folk music with Western sounds. VOA's Carolyn Turner has more for us. As a young boy in Ethiopia, Tommy T played with a toy guitar. Years later, he was playing in a real band with his older brother, Hinook in a Washington, D.C. area group. Today, Tommy T. tours with the Gogol Bardello Band, a multi-ethnic gypsy punk band from New York. Gogol's global rhythms are part of their unclassifiable approach to music. Tommy T. recently released a new studio album titled The Prester John Sessions. Prester John is a character in Graham Hancock's book about a 12th century Ethiopian king. Basically, I uh, read in a book called The Sign and the Seal about this character, this Ethiopian king, uh, uh, a non-European Christian king that, has, uh, that had uh, massive troops and treasures. So all the European kings were looking for him, you know, trying to team up with him sort of thing. And uh, that sort of inspired me into uh, sort of being the you know, present-day Prester John, would be the king that would bring the massive culture uh, to the Western world, basically. The music on Prester John is like an oral travelogue of Ethiopia and features fellow Gogol Bordello bandmates. Tommy Chi chose folk music he could improvise on and wrote songs based on an Ethiopian beat called Chichika. Me and my uh, uh, friends and my brothers, uh, the Abyssinia Roots Collective, we've been playing around the uh, D.C. area, I would say, over 10 plus years. And I've always talked about, you know, doing an Ethiopian record. Uh, sort of my own way uh, and uh, finally uh, we start putting down some ideas down and uh, uh, about three years ago we started recording at a studio. Tommy composed and produced the music on the Prester John sessions with his brother Hinook. The tracks were recorded at Tommy's home studio in Washington. This album is, uh, is based on Ethiopian music uh, but sort of uh, through my eyes uh, and through my influences uh, in my career as a music as a musician. So you would hear anything from funk to jazz to uh, dub and reggae and to traditional Ethiopian rhythms. So all of those come and, you know, uh, come together in one album. The result is a sound that's at once familiar and mysterious. There's different things in there. There's, uh, there's a song uh, from a province called uh, Wollo that I named Eighth Wonder. Uh, uh, basically that rhythm comes from that uh, province, but uh, that province is also known for the Lalibela churches. Uh, that are uh, hewn out of uh, solid rock, 11 of them. And they're uh, uh, considered as the eighth wonder of the world. That's why that's that, that was titled Eighth Wonder. The Prester John Sessions album can be found on iTunes and at retail outlets. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Nice song to end the show on. And that's our show for today. You can watch In Focus on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, please listen to VOA's English service, Africa News Tonight, Daybreak Africa in the morning. We thank you for watching. Good night. Please have a safe and wonderful weekend. See you Monday.